I want to remind you how important it is for you to be integrally, consistently involved in the body of Christ. I will add that although most of this takes place in a local context through this church, there is a broader context through your regional, national, and global spiritual family that adds essential help to your spiritual growth and maturity. The concept of being connected rightly to the body of Christ is spoken of multiple times throughout the New Testament. The Apostle Paul, in his letter to the Romans, uses the metaphor of our physical body and the body of Christ, explaining that in order for us to be healthy, we all have to do our God-given part. No one is dispensable. That being said, consistent connection is important. I mean, how many of you could operate if a member of your physical body disappeared for a week or two? That's unrealistic, I know, but I hope the mental picture provides you with some context as to how difficult it is to operate as a healthy church when members of that body are not connected consistently. It also detrimentally affects us as well because we do not get the benefit and the blessing of being a part of the body when we're not there to receive from it. It's God's design for our lives. A lot of the blessings come in the gathering. I can't explain all the reasons why God chooses to work this way primarily, but I believe the main one is He is a relational God and He expects His people to be a relational people, connected to relationships. There's also a real humility that has worked in us when we both receive from others and then give to others through prayer and ministry. I was able to yet again experience the blessing of these vital relationships just this past week. I had an Eastern Region Pastors and Camps Leaders meeting in Jacksonville, Florida for our Every Nation churches. Guess what half the battle was? Committing to going and getting there. If I'm honest, the morning I was supposed to leave, I felt down. There was a real heaviness on me I couldn't explain, but I went because I knew God had something for me by being rightly connected with His part of the body. Can I tell you that riding down with one of my younger staff guys was a blessing to me? Getting to see my friends in ministry was a blessing. The fellowship was encouraging, and the worship ministered to my thirsty soul. The words of prayer and encouragement dealt specifically with, guess what? Heaviness. I could feel the heaviness lifting off of me as we worshiped and prayed together. I was so thankful that I was there. None of this happens if I choose to stay disconnected from my spiritual family. None of this happens if I don't humbly show up just as I am, trusting God to use my spiritual family, His body, to minister to my mind and my soul. Can I encourage you to stay connected to the body of Christ? To stay committed to the local church, this local church, in focus. God has a blessing for you in this place, but one you can only experience when you are rightly and consistently connected. He also wants to use your life to bless others in the church, but that can't happen If we're not present together, there will always be excuses. There will always be deterrence. The enemy will always try to give you an out, but you need the body and the body needs you. Make every effort to stay connected with your spiritual family as it is the only way to maintain spiritual vitality. 